Happy Monday, Facebook. How are you? Pete Olson here in beautiful God's Country, uh, Montana, here at my place at Jackpot Ranch. Hope you guys had uh, an amazing weekend. Uh, I have been the number one money earner in my last two companies and uh, coach to students all over the globe and got a great live for you today. And the live is, have you ever made this one enormous mistake with your network marketing, in your network marketing company uh, with your team? Hey, Trisha, good to see you. So, um, you know, this is a mistake that, um, you know, my 25 years of, of progressing this industry, I have definitely made. I, I have made it. And it's definitely cost me money way back when over the years, but I quickly figured it out through my mentors, my multi-million dollar mentors, uh, and the people that coach me, um, that you don't do this. So the, the big mistake is really trying to control your network. Let me, let me rephrase it. Trying to control your team, your global team's production. What I mean by that is really dictating to them how they need to present your product, service, or opportunity, right? Um, and, and that's just an enormous no-no. Like I said, I did it. So as a, as a leader in your company, it's, there's a million different ways to present the opportunity. It really doesn't matter, you know, if, if people are, you know, going to the mall to recruit or they're recruiting online or they're recruiting warm market or they're recruiting cold market or uh, they're doing they're doing one on ones at Starbucks or they're doing home based meetings. Um, you know, I, I've had I've had guys that in the past have gone door to door. Um, it really doesn't matter. I definitely know the way that I feel works best and the way that provides the most leverage. But if, if someone in my group is going, and in, in fact, I'll give you an example. Uh, my mentor, the great Larry Thompson, the greatest network marketer of all time. He actually would pull, when he was recruiting out of San Jose, I believe, San Jose, uh, no, no, excuse me, out of uh, El Paso, he would actually pull into a gas station, put the, put the pump in his tank, and just wait for the next cars to pull up and, and go up to someone and, and ask them if they'd be open to taking a look at what he's doing. And he'd just stay there all day because new people would keep pulling into the gas station. So as the leader, guys, it's really not um, your place to say how they're prospecting. You can certainly suggest if they ask, right? You can certainly suggest what you feel provides the most leverage for them. But bottom line, it gets down to are they talking human to human? right? Are they asking if someone else is open, right? If you only said, hey, you can only do it this way, as you grow, hey, Gianni, as you grow, you're going to leave hundreds of thousands of dollars on the table because people are going to say, hey, you know, enough with that guy. He says he's trying to tell me which way I can do it and what I can't do, right? Um, we know this, right? What works is humans talking to humans, Humans talking to humans. And it doesn't matter um, if it's, you know, at the mall, at the gas station, online on Facebook, uh, one-on-ones at Starbucks, someone's putting classified ads in the paper, um, you meet someone at a cocktail party, whatever it is, it's humans talking to humans and asking them if they would be open to taking a look at what you're doing. And if not, right, no big deal. So you can always tell your downline if they ask you, hey, this is my preference. This is what I do. This is what I've been taught by people, some of the top networkers in the industry. But hey, if it's working for you, you know, keep killing it. Keep killing it. And when you do that, as opposed to saying you've got to do this, you gain a lot more respect, a lot more allegiance. And you'll actually have those people come back to you and say, hey, could you show me more about what you're doing? as opposed to the other way where they may just pack up their bags and leave. So stop seeking control, bottom line is what it comes down to. Stop seeking to be right in your way of showing your, your company's opportunity, right? 
As long as they're talking to other human beings, let them work. If they're talking to other humans, let them work. Let them be. Let them prospect. Most don't. Most don't do any prospecting. Most don't open their lips. Okay? Most don't open their lips. So allow them to do it the way they want to do it. Hey, Samuel, good to see you, man. Long time no see. And again, if that's other ways, if that's home, home parties, and if that's prospecting on the street, at the gas station, at the mall, online, you know, funnels, whatever it is, allow them to do that. And, and then when they come to you, um, when they come to you, you can certainly give them your thoughts on, on what you're doing and, and maybe why it has a little bit more leverage. But aside from that, applaud them. Applaud them for reaching out to others about your company's product, service, or opportunity. Okay? All right, guys. Hey, if you enjoyed that, feel free to hit me up. I have a phenomenal uh, list of what I feel personally are the top prospecting methods in order to grow your business. And again, this is just my way. So if you guys are curious about that, just send me a personal Facebook message. That'd be great. And um, I will get that to you. And I really appreciate you guys always taking a look and, and listen to my lives. I enjoy it immensely. And, and I love giving value and, and helping you guys grow. Okay. Happy Monday. Have an absolutely amazing week. I'll see you tomorrow.